Today I'm going to show you how to create a narrated presentation with your own audio using VisMe. This is very easy to do considering VisMe has a very intuitive interface. It's a functionality that might be useful for you when you're creating a standalone slide deck or maybe a self-running presentation when you're not present. So all you have to do to get started is click on the audio icon on the left toolbar right here. And then you see many different free audio files available for you right within VisMe. So all you have to do is click on this button to listen to each of them and select the one that fits your needs. So let's say I want to add this one, for example. All I have to do is click on this button and then I click on attach. Or if I change my mind, I could click on detach. And here you also see more settings that you can adjust. For example, let's say I want it to fade in at a certain time. I can set it for, let's say, two seconds. And let's say I want the music to fade out after two seconds as well. Or let's say I want it to start at a certain time. I can also set that here at three seconds. I can also adjust the volume. I can make it lower or louder. And I can make it loop. Now let's say I want to add my own recorded audio. All I have to do is click on this button right here. And then this appears at the bottom of the screen. So all I have to do is click on the red button and I start recording my audio right within VisMe. But let's say um, I have this big chunk of text here and I don't want readers or viewers to have to read this. I want them to listen to my voice if I'm not present or this is a standalone presentation. So instead of including this chunk of text, I can attach an audio narration and that's easier for viewers. So let's start with this. I'll press this button and start recording my narration. It feels like we're all suffering from information overload or data glut. And the good news is there might be an easy solution to that, and that's using our eyes more. So visualizing information so that we can see the patterns and connections that matter, and then designing that information so it makes more sense, or it tells a story, or allows us to focus only on the information that's important. Failing that, visualized information can just look really cool. So that's my narration, and I can play it again to see if it sounds the way I want it to sound. It feels like we're all suffering from information overload or data glut. And the good news is there might be an easy solution to that, and that's using our eyes more. So it seems like it works. All I have to do now is press this button to attach it to my slide. And you see it automatically adds itself to my slide library, or my audio library. And here I clicked on this button and I can detach it if I want or attach it. And as with the other option, I can also adjust the settings right here. I can make it fade in or fade out. I can make it start at a certain time. So let's see how this sounds and looks in the publish mode. It feels like we're all suffering from information overload and data glut. And the good news is there might be an easy solution to that, and that's using our eyes more. So visualizing information so that... So here you see my slide with my narration. So instead of using this paragraph, like I said, I can just do away with this, delete this paragraph, and all viewers have to do is look at the images and hear my narration. Now, there's also a trick to this. You can go to the Publish option, and let's say you want to also add background music. You can do that here, and you can click on any of these free audio files as well if you want background music along with your narration. So I can do that as well. And there you have it. This is how you can add audio narration to your own VisMe using this option, this very new feature right here.